the Xbox. Again, my Series X. This is my creative save. Those people who've been with me since I started this series last year will recognize my little test base. And today's tutorial is all about this beastie. The laser antenna. Now, regular antennas have a fixed range and they broadcast specifically in all directions. They are what called they are what's called omnidirectional. These things are laser antennas though and they use a laser to establish a communication and this can be set to an infinite range. So first of all make sure you've got power, build one and then for our little test base we've got one over here. So you have your point here and your destination. So what you do on your first laser antenna and they don't come with this, this is the sci-fi control box or control panel from Sparks of the Future find your laser antenna, you press X on your control panel, press A on your laser antenna and you'll see that its range is 50 kilometers. We're going to boost that to infinite. Then we want to copy the coordinates of that laser antenna and that's all we need to do. That's it. Now we toddle across here and we do the same thing. We open up our control panel, go to the laser antenna, set the range to infinite and we paste coordinates. Now our laser antenna will attempt to search for another laser antenna towards those coordinates and it will establish a connection. There it is and that is how you connect two laser antennas together. You can make it a permanent connection if you want you can also set one laser antenna to idle which will stop it connecting and then all you need to do to reconnect it is just go back into the connection it's already got GPS coordinates so just connect to receiver so it's connected and they're looking at each other now there's one thing to remember about laser antennas, they cannot establish a connection at all if there is a grid in the way. So if I build, say, for instance, this, and then I look at my laser antenna now, you'll see it's trying to establish a connection to the laser antenna. It cannot see through that solid wall. If I remove it, and go back to my laser antenna, it's connected. So what is the purpose? What can you do with these laser antennas? Well, if you have a base on the Earth-like planet, like me, and say you have an asteroid base way 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 47.87 kilometers out there you can do this we leave my test rig at the laser antenna we head towards my base on creative and you will see that I have already got a laser antenna just sitting on the roof so following the same procedure as before I find my laser antenna I already have my range it's idle so all I need to do is connect it to the coordinates and it will attempt to find another laser antenna. 
it is now connected to my Space HQ laser antenna all the way up there and you will see that it has now rotated itself so while I'm on Earth if I press my inventory button and I go up to what's called remote access by using the left stick to navigate the menu and click remote access I get a whole list of things that have potential remote control and terminals you can see my light drone but what we're looking for is minor 459 if I press A now I can remotely take control of minor 459 nothing happens this is because with a remote like that you need to be able to fly it with something like a camera so I actually have a camera connected on minor 459er so if I push up on the d-pad we are now in control of my little mining drone in space 47 kilometers away now you might ask how can he open the doors with this thing because he's on earth good question I actually have a sensor set up to detect the ship grid as it heads towards the doors and this is what a laser antenna can allow you to do and because the laser antenna's range is infinite you can be sitting comfortably on Earth and you can mine an asteroid for resources in your mining base then you can take your mined resources back to your base drop them off on the connector they'll go into your base, they'll go into your refinery and everything is safe for you because you're on earth it's a useful little thing and it works any range as long as there is no grid blocking if I flew minor 459 in front of that laser antenna we'd lose connection so that is really it that's all you need to know <clears throat> about laser antennas how to set them up and what they can be used for so we'll leave my remote control and we're back comfortably on earth enjoying ourselves and we have a nice can of Clang Cola so that's it that's the laser antenna tutorial that I know quite a few people have been waiting for it's a short one it's a quick one I'll catch you in the next one stay safe take care bye